Why am I even trying to be a nurse? I'm gonna be delivering pizzas and cleaning carpets for the rest of my life. No! You're very attractive for a carpet cleaning lady. Although you maybe could do something with your hair. Yeah. No, that's not it. It's your face. Yeah. Could you be a doll and get me a little snack? You know I was just hired to do carpets, right? You're fired. I bet you haven't worked a single day in your entire self-absorbed life. Just pay me and I'll be on my way. Nope. He is the devil. I owe the cleaning company 3,000 bucks for a new machine. And they fired me. Rich people, they get away with everything. A million dollars! Hello! I don't know what day it is. I don't even know my own name. Amnesia in our little town. That's him. But I have an idea that is poetic in its justice. I'm here to pick up my husband. You're really my wife? For better or worse, baby. <laughs> I'm poor? Yep. Daddy! How come they don't look like me? We had to use a sperm donor. I'm sterile. You're getting picked up for work bright and early. I work? Three jobs. Oh, I want a fake husband. Do we need to take him to the hospital? I said, Bobby. Nobody else do it like that. This just feels a little extreme, Marisa, breaking the law and everything. I don't want to go to jail. I'm not ready to be a lesbian yet. Marisa, did you even remember to apply for college? I know things can get hard for you. Yeah, they do. They're called dicks. Yeah. Kelly, I cannot believe you used to be friends with those girls. They're so dusty looking. I want to go to the party. If our friendship's dying, then you know I want to be at that funeral. Idiots. I'm going to fuck these kids up tonight. I hope not. We're just trying to figure out where the party is tonight. Me too. I asked him, dude. He just called me a boner. This party could be anywhere and nowhere at the same time. Why don't we just let these kids have their moment? <laughs> this is my moment. Tonight, everyone will think I'm a stripper. Ah! Ah! It is a last day of school. You are not a Navy SEAL. Inappropriate language, offensive clothing. The verdict for both of you is detention. What? Fuck you. Please take that back. No, I will not. Our rules are protect, serve, serve. and kill. Oh, light them up! I opened the window, but they're painted shut. Rumor has it the last counselor left to her death. I love you guys so much. You're my best friends. There's only one way to do this. <laughs> That's the pace in which they're gonna fuck you in the ass right. in prison. All right, oh, Jesus. Fuck, fuck. Take a lot, brother. Fuck, yeah. fuck, dick in your butt. And it never stops. Tonight, we're taking game night up a notch. Oh, boy. Mm. Someone in this room is going to be taken, and it's gonna be up to you to find them. It's a murder mystery party. Whoever finds the victim wins the grand prize. You're not gonna know what's real and what's fake. Wait a sec, you can't just come in here and break the door. Oh! Looks so real. Hurting asshole! Help me, please! This is your... Guys, make sure you get a piece of this yeah. cheese. Oh, it's yeah. just. First one that follows us gets shot. Okay, Roger that. You drive safe. I've always enjoyed the camaraderie of good friends competing in games of chance and skill. Do we follow him? It seems like him. Ryan, you go first. I'm scared. Lou. Oh, oh, oh. Ah! Holy oh, shit! Oh, 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 Bloody hell! It's not a joke. You people are in real danger. Is this gun real? Oh, oh no, Andy. Oh, oh no, no, no. Hey, no. Hey. Blood! So much worse. Stop! Wait, wait, I have kids at home. Not with an ass like that, you don't. Oh, well, thank you. Yes! Oh no, he died!
This is instructions on how to remove a bullet. You didn't have rubbing alcohol, so I got you this lovely shard. Good idea. Way to pivot. And then a squeaky toy. For the pain. That's smart, huh? Good afternoon, Miss Hush. As you know, parole is a privilege. It's a mistake, uh, but it, it happened. And um, if I were to be released, I would... Um, I would just want the simple life. I just want to hold down a job, make some friends. You know, pay my bills. Even if this was possible, you'd need 20 people. Seven people. Why do you need to do this? Because it's what I'm good at. How long would it take you to make seven pieces of jewelry? Five or six hours. How long if I told you you didn't have to live with your mother anymore? It's the to Maripas Queen, but you know, yeah. Less. What's your name? Name Wall. What's your real name? Eight Ball. I'm gonna be really poor. What if we could make all this go away? Can I get my watch back, please? And hers as well? Sorry. It's okay. I am with my family. I told you not. I'm in the garage. Do you want me to tell you how big a job No, is? I'm out. I'm gonna tell you how big the job is. I'll be back before you know it. Can I come with you? This is Mommy's very special work trip. In three and a half weeks, the Met will be hosting its annual ball. And we are going to rob it. Not the ball itself. Oh. On the neck of Daphne Kluger. Valued at over a hundred million dollars. It's 150 million, actually. <laughs> <laughs> Revenge. It's a twofer. Do not run a job in a job. Taylor Swift? Can't we just go to this? Do we have to steal stuff? Yes. Is it genetic? Are the whole family like this? Literally. Hello there. Welcome back. I'm glad you could join me today. Let's just drive right in and run all the colors across the screen that you'll need to paint along with me. I have my regular old canvas here, wet and ready to go. Now, let's grab our trusty two-inch brush here. Whack that off real good. Just beat it like it owes you money. We're gonna get a little dab of our yellow snow here. We're gonna mix that with just another little dab of our Betty White. Now, let's just Dance in a happy little sky. And remember, this is your world. You get to make and break the rules here. Sweet baby Jesus. Wish I could jump in there and roll around in all that cascading white powder. Yeah, just get high in all of life's splendor. God, I love cocaine. So much. Holy fuck knuckles, I am high as a kite right now. Okay, let's paint in a few little happy trees there. Nothing wrong with making friends with trees. Now what you don't want to do is eat these paints. Trust me on this one. All right, I'm gonna whack off again. That's right, that feels good. Would you look at that? It seems like we have ourselves a finished painting. So from our family to yours, keep your pants dry, your dreams wet, and remember, hugs not drugs. <laughs> Bye. I think our daughters are friends. I think that makes us friends. <laughs> I'm Hunter. I'm Lisa. That's my Julie. I'm Mitchell. Kale's hero. We the life of the party. Oh, nice. 
I can't believe it's prom. They're so grown up. I can't even hug my daughter anymore without feeling her boobs. <laughs> uh, just high fives from now on. Okay. <laughs> Julie left her laptop open. You guys are snooping on our kids? No. We don't understand what they're saying, so it's not snooping. Oh my god, I love puzzles. <laughs> Some about an eggplant. And teenage emoji eggplants are dicks. Wait, what? All emojis have a secret meaning, so like trees are weed, and this thing is Yas Queen. Yas Queen. So she's gonna get roses, yeah. kiss, and then touch his dick eggplant. Look at all that drool coming out of the smiley face. That's jizz. Stand down. It is. Look, it's coming. Like, uh, this is a sex act. They're planning on losing their virginity on prom night. Maybe it's not sex. They're just saying, hey, you're OK with me. You're OK with me. Maybe. No, oh, I fucking knew it. Our girls are not thinking things through. I'm going to stop them. I'm in. Let's cock block those motherfuckers. This is our last big night together. This pact is gonna make tonight even more perfect. They're getting away. WWVDD. What would Vin Diesel do? In times of crisis, parents are known to have superhuman strength. I can do this. What the fuck? This is so messed up. Did your dad try to stop you when you wanted to lose your virginity? He was too busy high-fiving me. I'll do anything for my daughter. What about a little chugging contest? Bring it. Wait, what? We're butt chugging. You got this, dog. No, I'm tagging out. You're in. What? You've got a baby. Everything's looser down there. I don't have a baby out of my butt. On the count of three. One. Go! Oh. Not a fan. I am tripping so hard. I just had a vision. My dad was chugging beer through his asshole. I can't do anymore. Pose, Brian. Pose, pose. Oh. <laughs> Aspen. Oh, oh. I would do anything for love. Hi, sweetie. These two people are not married, and they're going to have premarital sex. Do you want to go to heaven, or do you want to go to hell? I'm sorry, did I just say that out loud? Now it is time to honor the breasts of the women in the room. I would like you to turn to the person next to you. Hi. Is it possible we could do a three-way? I've never done a three-way. Why are you in this class? You seem so together. Ah, oh, yeah, I'm naked. I really think you should. Come over. I want to have hot sex with someone who's really nice to me. Let's just go have sex in my office. No. I've been dating this guy for two years. I love you as his friend and as, as a sexual partner. I want love. Why do you always call me a dirty little slut? Uh, is this because maybe you're, uh, you're jealous that I'm more successful than you? Why are we sitting around talking about how sad our lives are? I just want to have a baby. You're right. We should be talking about how great we are. I want there to be a lot of blood in this scene. Why does the woman who enjoys sex always have to die in horror films? Maybe she could fight back. I think that that's probably the worst idea I've ever heard in my entire life, so probably can't do that one. We talk about pleasing men, but what about pleasing us? Babe, can I leave my laundry here? Get in on Thursday? You want me to do your laundry while you date other women? You should do your laundry. Yeah, you are so hot, like really hot. I've got the line. Let's make a pact to be with good guys only. Guys who treat us great like we deserve. Well, there's this guy. He asked me out. He's super attractive. Ah! You should go for it. Move over. There's a new skank in town. <laughs> you want to go for a walk? Yeah, I really like that. Having sex with me is a religious experience. I liked your script. Thank you. Well, she's a good writer. I want you to do my laundry now. Oh, oh my gosh. Wait, I didn't groom. I didn't groom. Just up, just up. I had the best sex of my life. <gasps> Boss me around some more? Kind of turned me on. You look so hot, I want to have sex with you. Okay, no, I just... No. So oh, no. Good guys only. Good guys, Good guys only. only. Jerks act? No, jerk sex. Aww. Seriously, cut the crap, guys. I'm not a rookie anymore. Get these off me. Rabbit, it's not like we want to shave your balls. Thorny, do you want to shave his balls? Me? Hell no. Foster? No way. You don't want to shave his balls, do you, Farva? Hell yeah, I do. No. No. God damn it, we gotta get out of here. Come on!
Bullshit, who ordered these? I can't feel my tits. <laughs> License and registration? Aren't you the two that pulled me over before? Beg pardon? How are you Mounties now? Or should I say Meounties? <laughs> Hang on. Do you really not remember this guy? You just fucking with him. Yeah, I have no idea who he is. You know I heard everything you said. Son of a bitch. We've been doing that for years. Pull the trigger, dispense the nail, and whack it in one so hand. So what you're telling me is goodbye conventional hammer? Goodbye conventional life! Hello, nail hammer! Whoa! Ran out of gas. You only ever get a little bit of gas at a time. Hey, you noticed, huh? I, I like to come by and see you. I like seeing you as well. I was hoping to save up to take you to dinner someplace nice. I love that. Get whatever you want, by the way. This one's on me. I've been thinking about this ever since I first got gas at your place. You must be so excited about all your shows. Do so you mean to tell me, with no money down, I can buy a house? Two pennies on the dollar! <laughs> No. Do you know about the Stillerman TV show? It's the Jamie Stillerman show. We keep seeing this guy. This guy's everywhere. Who, who is, is that? We need to know who this man is, and we need him on this show. I'm sorry about all these cheap dates, all this TV stuff going on. I'm just a little out of it. Wait, you know the clapper? Yeah. But I'm going to bounce back. What is that? Your head is about to explode. That's my head. You can take that off. Right? But the computer? Somebody's making money off of that. And it ain't us. I should charge you like five bucks right now just for watching that. Rob, right, Rob, right, hold up a second. We're from the Jamie Silver. Right. Do you recognize this man right here? Who's off? Do you know the clapper? <gasps> Judy! Some people came by tonight asking all kinds of questions. They had a photograph of you. Are you in trouble? No, I'm not in trouble. I like you, Eddie. I really do want to, but I need my job. Like, I need my job. How'd you get this number? Tonight is a night we want you to be on the show. I'm not comfortable being on television or anywhere. It's hey, stop harassing my girl. Where's Judy? Hey! Things got out of control, and I didn't know how to handle it. Oh, no. I'm the clapper. It's great to finally meet you. I mean, you want to make a big joke out of me, go ahead. I just lost the only person that mattered through this whole thing. I can't tell you how nice this is. Good things could come out of this. Oh, what? Um, wait, uh, can I do it again? Don't look at me, look at the camera. Okay. You're looking at me, don't look at me. I know I'm talking to you, but don't look at me. Don't look at me. Look at the camera. You're looking at me again. Now, Jan, you always have so much going on. You're constantly on the road with the band. Mm. You've got the store, the mm. record label, the radio program, Jan Levan flavored vodka, and now Jan Levan European tours. Jan Levan always expanding. When I was little boy in Poland, all the times I dreaming of America. Your invest have built all my business. You cannot go wrong with this man. He never stops. We went in. We all get rich. I heard that people are investing money with you. Yes, come see me at the show. <laughs> Great job, Adelani. We did real good manners today. Oh, nice and thick. Nice and thick. My favorite size. See you on the bus, Lonnie. Oh, come on. Hey, Mr. Lawan, do you know why I'm here? Yes. It's very good investment to help build empire. Oh, no, 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 no. I'm not here to invest. What you're doing is illegal. As of today, you have to give all that money back to your investors. Today, today, or some other today? How I make all this money? We want to invest more in Jan Lewin show gifts. Something's going on. No, nothing on. Everything good. If you do anything to hurt this family, I will destroy you. OK. <laughs> Are you in trouble? No, 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 no. I just need to fill out papers and forms. We're pulling our money out. Bribes are being alleged. This business stinks. You were greedy! You only have yourselves to blame! There's something very wrong with you! It's America. We all get second chance. Up 
with you. Well, it's not you, it's me. There's an Uber waiting for you when you land. I'm not ready. Go. Whoa. You okay there? Yeah. That could be a nasty sprain. Why don't I get you some ice? Maybe a cup of coffee? What's in the folder then? My infidelity formula. Your infidelity formula. And it works? Two million people agree with me. And as a fail safe, you break up after six months of dating. Statistically speaking, it's not safe to date for longer than that. What if I could offer a way to prove your theory wrong? I don't see how you'd be able to do that. All we would need to do is find a group of people who've been in a relationship for longer than six months and give them an opportunity to cheat without getting caught. What are you proposing? I'm suggesting a little competition. What? I pick five of my friends who've been in a relationship for longer than six months, and you pick the enchantresses who will be their downfall. Oh, that's great. Chest out. Well, what is it? Competition? Best three out of five wins. Underwear is proof. She wants you to go to her place to show her how to use gym equipment. You know I'm a professional. You need to get your mind out of there. You're wrong about people. It's not that simple. But it is. Good thing this is almost over. You're turning into a regular gangster. It's not over yet. Medical marijuana is already a multi-billion dollar industry. The future is this weed pill. I'm still not sure about this. Look, most people will tell you Buzz Aldrin walked on the moon. But even a complete idiot will tell you Neil Armstrong did it first. And do you know why he went first? He was the ambitious hatch opened on his Because he pushed Buzz Aldrin the fuck out of the way and seized history by the ball sack. I'm satisfied. <laughs> Look, man, you're in some deep water, Harold. Like bankruptcy, Dave. I am cash poor? No, I'm saying you're poor poor. Harold! Tomorrow, you're gonna fly to Mexico. What? We want you to hand deliver the weed pill formula to the lab. Buenos dias. I know I'm not supposed to touch the minibar, but I'm going to do it. You know, I don't even care anymore. I'm doing it. I'm having the mano. What are you? What's going on? I've been kidnapped! I am somewhere in Mexico with a gun to my head. Ah! What a fucking cry, baby. Harold, I'm just gonna spit this out. El Jefe. We sold a little product to the cartels, but when we cut them off, they got a little angry. <laughs> what the motherfucker? This is a fucking clusterfuck! I know a guy. I'll track down dictators if I can find a guy in middle management. What do they want? They want what? Pesos? Dollars! What is that? It's an injectable microchip. Okay. I need to keep track of you. I don't like needles! You <laughs> can't scare me with tales of the big bad cartels. I don't know how things work. Not in Mexico. Harold? 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 You really believe in God? Of course I believe in God. What kind of person does not believe in God? I guess I kind of do, but not. <laughs> Things are going to start to get better for you. Trust me, I have good instincts. Let's go.